we're back and um, let me move on to the next part. Okay, so that was really cool. We, uh, we, we cut through and stamped out the gecko. <clears throat> um, right, I'd like to put some glasses on this guy, only just because um, with all logo creation, um, it's nice to get a bit of a flow and a feel. And, and this, this, what we've done here, is just completely off the cuff, okay? And I just wanted to show you how you can quite easily start to get a bit of a feel and a flow for a design. And um, I might even use this at some point. It's quite cool, actually. Um, okay, so I'm going to open up the internet because basically what I want to look for um, is um, some glasses to put on the gecko because I think he's a bit of a geek. So um, let's just go glasses and let's put um, vector because that way we what we end up with is not um, glasses that are... Um, like a, a photo image, you know, and we can use photo images and can we, we can redraw them as well. But um, this is exactly, exactly what I'm looking for. Total retro, I can see my gecko wearing these. Uh, I'm going to take those and I'm going to copy the image. Now, I know we probably are just moving a little bit away off track, but just purely because I just think it's so important to, to feel that flow. And, you know, when you're drawing, just, just have that, have that, you know. Um, and I like to put images around the outside as I design stuff, and it just it just it just um, it just gives me that um, that creativity. So what I'm going to do here, I don't want to draw this because I've now taught you um, some insider stuff. And um, let me just I'm just going to hit that with a quick trace, um, and just so I can it's going to ask me to reduce the size of that bitmap, and I'm going to dump the image behind. Okay, so what I'm looking for here is to ungroup all of these objects and get rid of this background and everything that's, uh, all the components around it. So I'm going to need to keep um, some of those components there. And I'm going to go Control L and I'm grouping that all together. Uh, and I don't want that there. If I have grouped it like, together, because I've double clicked on it and it is actually um, a, a piece of artwork, I can uh, highlight those bits and I can delete those points and get rid of them. So it saves me. Um, going in and um, un, un um, combining them or breaking them apart. So that's cool. We've got that um, now. Obviously, he's going to need some uh, eyes. This guy as well. So let's just use the eclipse tool, um, and I think we'll just pop in a couple of um, eyes. What are, what is a lizard? Lizard's eyes are like that, I think, aren't they? So I'm just drawing something up here. Um, and let's give him some uh, some sort of sicky green eyes, like I think as well, which would be cool. So I've got that at the moment. Um, I've got this um, outside, which um, is white, and yeah, he's sort of lizard-like. I think that's quite cool. Let's bring that in. Let's bring it in, and let's drop those eyes there. Sorry if you can hear like a a noise. Someone's revving a car up near us and it's quite annoying. Um, I'm so, sorry, I just do things sometimes and I don't mean to. Um, so I'm going to grab that whole eye. I'm going to press Control G to group it and I'm going to press Control D to duplicate it. And I'm going to drop that eye over this side here. And again, I'm going to highlight straight through the middle of that and I'm going to press E to align um, horizontally. And then I want to grab all of those components together and I want to group them together by pressing Control G and I don't know how this is going to work but let's give it a try anyway let's take that across let's spin that around so it's the right way around um, and <laughs> and um, okay so let's click on it once more to release the um, the circular momentum there if I click again you see that it's given me this center point uh, um, of rotation. <clears throat> now I can actually pivot at any point by by clicking on that center res rotation point. So I'll click it again. Uh, I could I could bring that over here and say actually I, I want to pivot around this point here. Um, and when I grab any one of these now you can see that I can pivot from that uh, from that point. And I will, for now, though, I'll bring it back to the centre of the head because that's exactly where I want it to go. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm completely happy with it. 
but um, maybe I need to uh, work on that a little bit. <laughs> Let's change the color of the gecko to green. Let's give him um, a darker green body and maybe the eyes are too big. Maybe, they are. Um, maybe his glasses need to be white. I don't know. It's quite cool. Let's give him a Let's give him um, a little bit of a fountain fill as well. Remember we did the fountain fill, so let's go back over to the interactive fountain fill over here. And then let's go along to here, fountain fill. Um, and you can see default's gone to white. We're gonna click on that because we don't want white. And we're gonna click on there. And I want that really dark green over here. And I want this this point to start around here so it's almost like a bit of a blend out I don't want too much darkness on it um, it's making the eyes look a little bit weird I'm not gonna lie but uh, anyway so that's a quick drawing technique um, <clears throat> what can I show you next on here so that's the interactive envelope tool that's that's a very good cook tool okay let's work on this next then so let's open a new document and um, let's grab some text and let's put in a word. Let's put um, one shirt away. Okay. And I'm going to keep it as one word. Now what I want to do with this is I want to change the shape. I want it to follow some sort of weird path since we've been working with text. So first off, I'm going to grab um, pretty solid font and what I'm going to use I think would be something like impact so let's just click in there and I'll type in impact we should have that yet yeah, we've got that loaded that that's great and um, because I didn't have that selected um, it will work now so I've got one shirt away I could press F4 and bring that right in if I wanted to but what I want with this is I want it to um, have some sort of shape almost like um, a wave in and out okay and a brilliant, brilliant tool for that is over here where the contact con, um, contour tool was, and this is called the envelope tool. So I'm going to drop down to the envelope tool, and I'm going to um, change the shape of it. So there's a few ways we can do that. One, we can um, manipulate it with using um, points through the shape tool by adding points and pulling and manipulating the actual text like so. Nice. Um, let's duplicate that and put it underneath um, using the uh, pick tool going back and re-changing that again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go control C, control Z, undo, undo again, undo, and I'm going to go control V. So that's given me my original um, image my original text back because um, I copied it, copied it and undid and then repasted it back down again. So I'm going to copy this to start with, Control C, and this time I'm going to go back to the interactive, uh, well the envelope tool, and I'm going to select um, straight line mode. So this one, it's not going to give me the curve, it's going to give me a straight edge, like so. And there we go, which is great, you know, if you're drawing something like a torch um, and you wanted to, let's just uh, whip, whip together like a, a quick torch, something like this here, um, put a little button on the top there as well, so just quickly by putting together a few rectangles there and aligning that particular one together to make that central through, through using the horizontal alignment tool, which was E, I could select that and I could select the outer and press E and that would give me, just make sure that those two components are now one, uh, you know, in, in line. Um, so let's, let's increase, let's increase the, the span of that down as well. So you can see that it actually just looks like um, a torch. So let's go back to the, the, the tool again and this time I'm going to grab that and move that down here as well. And we could we could change the colour of that to yellow, so it would, would actually look like a torch, you know. Um, and I could colour these components in black, like so, um, and I could put a little silver 
um, little silver button on the top as well. Let's say. Uh, and we're going to work a little bit more on something like that at the moment. So just, just to give you a bit of an idea of what you could use that for. Um, again, let's go Control V, um, which is going to bring back my original one shirt away text. Okay, so let's move that over here. And I want to go back again to my envelope tool. And this one um, is a little bit different. So this one here is the single arc mode. And as you see that, it's got this uh, pull, this whip, like an almost like a, an exponential curve. Um, and it's just, um, yeah, nice. Just giving you a different, different shape. And you can play around with these as much as you want. Um, let me let me just go for it again and just give you one opposite, just to give you like a an idea of what you can do. You can even pull that in the middle, real put a right squeeze in the middle if you wanted to. Um, so many different things you can do, uh, and and so easy as well. That's why you know I, I'm such a big fan of Coral Draw. It's just you know you can just play and play and play, um, and yeah, it's great. Okay, so that's the that's the um, interactive, uh, sorry, the envelope tool. You could put a hairline around that if you wanted to. I'll tell you what you could do, actually. We could make this a dark alley behind. We could whack in some, uh, some greyness. And uh, don't forget that because of, obviously, the layers, this is now um, uh, an uppermost layer, so we need to go, go control and end. Um, and that will bring that in there as well. That's cool. Um, right, I think we'll stop there and then we'll move on to giving that a little bit of a glow. Just let's change something here. 